going to calculate the pH of a solution of a strong acid as we're titrating it with the strong base sodium hydroxide. And we'll see that the pH is going to increase up to the end point where we have a pH of 7 and then continue to increase as we have excess sodium hydroxide. So we'll do this for uh, these five different calculations. And in order to do this, we have to know the exact volume of hydrochloric acid in this case that we have and what its concentration is and then the concentration of the sodium hydroxide. And the volume of the sodium hydroxide is going to vary. So from our last podcast, I had this mess, and this is the acid that we put in. So before the titration, we can calculate its pH by just taking the negative log of the concentration of the acid. As we begin to add sodium hydroxide, just increments at a time, we're going to need to come back to our initial moles of acid that we have and subtract from that, the moles of the sodium hydroxide that we added. So the difference between those two values are the moles of HCl left. We're going to divide that by the volume of our acid plus the volume of the base that's added. Convert that to liters and divide that into the moles of acid we have left, and that will be the concentration, the new concentration of the acid. So we're going to see that the concentration of the acid gets more dilute. Once we've reached the end point, we will reach that when our, if we subtract these two numbers, we're going to have zero moles. So there's no calculation to do there. That would just be pH of 7. Past the end point, we'll subtract the initial moles of acid that we had from the moles of the base that we added. And that difference is the moles of hydroxide left over. Divide that by the total volume. So the titration calculations up to the end point are just a little more complicated, but we'll process through that. So before any sodium hydroxide is added, the pH equals the negative log of the concentration of the HCl. So this number is 10 to the minus 1, so here our pH would be equal to 1. And that is because the concentration of our acid is 10 to the minus 1 molar. Okay, now, after we've added 10 milliliters of sodium hydroxide, now we're going to need to calculate how many our initial moles of acid. So I'm going to write that down here because we're going to keep coming back to this number. So our volume of acid in liters, 0 0.05000 liters, times our concentration, 0 0.10. This is moles per 1 liter. Capital M is moles per liter. So we end up with 0 0.0050 moles of acid. And I better do it on the calculator just to double check that. 0.05 times 0.1. So we're going to keep coming back to this number. So I'm going to go down here for D our moles of sodium hydroxide added, we have 10 milliliters, that's 0 0.0100 liters, times the concentration of the sodium hydroxide is 0.2 molar. So that means mole per one liter of sodium hydroxide. So this is 0 0.002 moles of NaOH added. And remember, that is equal to 0 0.002 moles of HCl that's gone. That number of moles of HCl was neutralized. So our moles of HCl left, that's what we need. That is the initial 0 0.005 minus 0 0.002. This is 0 0.003 moles of HCl divided by the total volume. So we started out with 50 milliliters of HCl and we added 10 milliliters. So I'll show that down here. This is our initial 0 0.0500 plus we added 10 milliliters 
of base. So this is still going to be the concentration of HCl. So the 0 0.003 divided by 0 0.06. So that 0 0.005 is in there. I'm going to subtract the 0 0.002. I'm going to get the 0 0.003. Divide that by our total volume in liters. We've added 10 milliliters to the 50 milliliters. Divide this by 0 0.06. And so that is the concentration of our HCl. And so the pH is just the negative log of that number. So here our pH would be negative log of our second answer. And then we get 1.3. So we can see that our pH is increasing. So our pH started at 1. By adding a small amount of sodium hydroxide, our pH went up to 1.3. So we'll do this calculation again for adding 20 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. We'll still come back to this initial moles of HCl. So we'll pull up this paper here. But so C, we're going to add... 20 milliliters of 0.2 molar NaOH. So our moles of NaOH added is 0 0.0200 liters times 0.20 moles per one liter. And so this leaves us with 0 0.004 moles of NaOH added, which is 0 0.004 moles of HCl that was neutralized, or it's no longer there in the form of the acid. So the moles of HCl left, again the initial moles that we put in the beaker, that would be the amount that we started out with, add some base, and our moles of HCl left, we can just like the calculation we did up above, 0 0.005 minus 0 0.004, so there's my 0 0.001 moles of HCl, and I'm going to divide that number by the total volume, which is 20 plus 50, so this is 0 0.05 plus 0 0.02 liters. So the 50 milliliters that we initially had plus 20 milliliters of base. So this number, 0 0.001 divided by 0 0.07. And so our concentration of acid is 0.01428. This is molar HCl, so my pH is just the negative log of that number. And I'm going to leave that number in the calculator, the negative log of my second answer, and I get 1.84. So our pH is slowly going up. The fact that we have a strong acid left and it's still a relatively high concentration means we still have a really low pH. Now if we look at question D, if we add 25 milliliters of 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide, and if we multiply that we're going to see that we've added 0 .05, 0 0.005 moles of HCl. Oh, that we've added that many moles of sodium hydroxide. So we'll still do that calculation, and we'll have zero moles of HCl left over, and that means that this is the end point. Okay. And we don't have to recognize that ahead of time. We'll see that when we do the calculation. So D, we have 0 0.0250 liters of NaOH times 0.20 
moles per liter. So that capital M, remember, is two units. <clears throat> so 0 0.025 times 0.2, and we have 0 0.005. This is 0 0.005 moles of MAOH added. And this is 0 0.005 moles of HCl gone. And that is the same number as the initial moles of HCl that we started with. So our moles of HCl left equals 0 0.005 minus 0 0.005, so we get a zero. Now, we can't take the negative log of zero. We get an error there. So here, we, we just have to recognize that this is the endpoint. So our pH is equal to 7. There is no calculation to do. And this is only true for a strong acid, strong base calculation. Only true at the end point of a strong acid with a strong base. You'll see in subsequent slides that a weak acid with a strong base or vice versa is going to be a little bit more complicated because the equilibrium equation dictates that. Okay, so if we're at the end point of a weak acid or a base during a titration, we don't want to say that we're at a pH of 7, and we'll see why that is later. Once we get to question E here, there's a couple ways of doing this. Okay, question E, we've well, added 30 milliliters of NaOH, so I'm going to put that here. 30 milliliters of NaOH added. We can still... Uh, calculate the moles of HCl added or recognize that we have the difference between the end point, 25 milliliters, and 30 milliliters. This difference is 5 milliliters. So this is 5 milliliters of MaOH past the end point. So that means that we have 5 milliliters of 0.2 molar NaOH. So we could calculate our moles of NaOH, 0.20 mole per liter, and this is going to be our moles of hydroxyl. Okay, so if we did that really quick. I think that's going to be 0 0.0001, but I'm going to use some calculator. 0 0.05 milliliters times 0.2. Oh, I would have been off by 0 0.001 moles of NaOH. If I divide this by the total volume, we started out with 50 milliliters of acid, and we added 30 milliliters of base. So the concentration, I take this number, 0 0.001 moles of hydroxide, divided by 0 0.08 liters. This is the concentration of my sodium hydroxide. So that's my OH minus. So I could take the negative log of this number. If I do that, take the negative log of my second answer, that's POH. 1.90, so my pH is the difference between this number and 14. So the pH is 12.10, we'll say. Okay. <clears throat> so recognizing how many excess milliliters of NaOH we have works, or if we want to follow the same procedure that we did before, we could calculate our moles of NaOH, which would be the 30 milliliters that we added times the concentration. So we'll have 0 0.006 moles of NaOH. This is no longer equal to, this is not equal to moles of HCl gone 
because we only had 0.005 moles of HCl to start with. So here, since we're past the end point, we're going to be calculating excess hydroxide. So the excess sodium hydroxide now is the moles of sodium hydroxide. That's moles of NaOH minus the initial moles of the acid. So this difference, 0 0.001 moles of NaOH excess. We still have to recognize that 0 0.005 moles of NaOH went to neutralizing the HCl. So the excess NaOH here, and we divide that by the total volume, 0 0.05 plus 0.03 liters. We'll still end up with what we got over here is our excess moles of hydroxide divided by the 80 milliliters in liters. So we'll still end up getting the same answer.